Looks like the wind is from the south as well, so that's interesting that it's going across the breeze. What I want to say just real quick is, is that this whole floor is dropped down and stretched out into the background. You can see how small and tight that distant land is that's nine miles away. In other conditions, it'll look bigger and closer. And the, the floor, the floor from the, you know, from what's closest to us to what's farthest out has more distance to it. And if the conditions were different, it would be more compact it would be apparently a shorter distance, it would be apparently a higher distance, and then it would be magnified as well, so... Some, I think that's just a boat out there, I'm not gonna... Well, I might as well. Alright, so that is the, uh... That's the, uh... The barge quarry, the quarry barge. And that entire barge is visible right in front of us. Everything's in front of us. You can't even see the hull touching the touching the water. But if this were an inferior mirage, it'd be a completely different view. What are you seeing here? This is the quarry barge. Not looking the same as it was just a minute ago, is it? Where is it? You will have people who believe the Earth is curved tell you that the limit to the water that you can see right now in this image is due to Earth curve. And this boat, this ship, is below the Earth curve being refracted up so you can see it. No. Refraction is happening, yes. But refraction is always only and ever will be the cause for obstruction every single time with or without mirage in the first image we saw the entire ship but it was so distorted we didn't really have any clarity to see the hull touch the water but it's right there because you can see the water continue beyond the barge in this image here it appears as though something is floating above the water. How it, how can it, This is a mirage. You have the entire barge right there in front of you behind the image. It's all right there. You have to now take this same phenomenon, phenomenon, Whenever you see something out over the ocean in a, a greater distance than whatever this might be, say eight miles, when you have a mirage, everything is still right in front of you. It's not behind a curve. Everything has been magnified, lifted up, and obscured by refraction alone. Welcome to Flat Earth Science. How good I am at making shorts about this. The science says, and I agree with this part of the science, the limit to the water that you're seeing right here is created not by Earth curve. Thank you, Andrew Thomas Young. It is created by refraction. It is created by the limit of the mirage. The limit to the water here is not Earth curve. That ship in front of us right now is in a mirage, everything that that ship is, is directly in front of you behind the mirage.